The same-sex marriage debate has been a hot topic for the past decade. With same-sex marriages permitted in Washington, D.C., as of March 3rd, gay Virginians are beginning to wonder, when is their state going to become like their neighbors to the north? It's one of the most restrictive states, I think, probably in, in the U.S. I mean, back in 97, I think it was, Virginia passed um, a law saying that number one, banning same-sex marriage, and then also saying that um, gays could not adopt children, that if you um, had a child that was born in Virginia and you had a partner, that partner would not be placed on the birth certificate and also could not be a second par party to the adoption itself. So there's no second parent adoptions for same-sex couples in Virginia. And then when the Marshall Newman Amendment was passed, um, it went so much farther than anybody believed was going to happen. They'd already enshrined uh, the inability to marry in the state. And when the amendment was passed, not only did it reaffirm that, but said that people couldn't enter into contractual relationships with one another if they were unmarried. Men contract contracts that purported to give the benefits of marriage. So that meant things like inheritance rights, uh, being able to make medical decisions for each other if we had gotten sick and were in the hospital. Um, we were worried about survivorship um, uh, in terms of not only um, our state and our possessions being protected, but our child, who was going to, was there going to be any issue with custody of our children after one of us had passed away? Um, so it's been very scary living here. What's the big deal? Why can't two members of the same sex get married? According to some, it's a matter of religion. We begin that discussion um, by uh, going back to the very beginning, so to speak, uh, and uh, understanding that marriage had an original design and purpose uh, from, from the time that there was the very first man and the very first woman uh, created by, by God. Uh, God uh, uh, built into us, uh, as it were, the, the nature of, of marriage and gave us marriage as this great gift. Uh, so from the very beginning, uh, marriage was uh, between a, a man and a woman and, and God himself as the author of marriage. Uh, and, and marriage by this design existed before any religion, uh, before any government, before any human law. And so the, the proper role then uh, of, of both uh, law and religion is to preserve God's design for marriage rather than trying to redefine it. Gay residents in Virginia can feel optimistic about one day being married. Delegate David Anglin introduced a bill that would repeal the ban on same-sex marriage. While it did not pass this year, he plans to bring it before the General Assembly again next year. Look at the grassroots outrage that particularly young people felt at Ken Cuccinelli's move to uh, attack the gay and lesbian community. I think that speaks to the fact that over time attitudes are changing and particularly the younger generation is much more open to and accepting of equal rights for all Virginians. Whether or not same-sex marriage will be legal in Virginia is an unknown. One thing is for certain, the issue will continue to be a heated debate. For VCU CNS, I'm Marco Chappelle.